Okay, so I thought I would um, do a quick little tutorial video just to, uh, in case some of you are having problems with uh, creating a topography, uh, the terrain surface from your topography. So uh, here are some contour lines and, and what happens is if you might just select the contour lines and use the patch command tool, it may not fill a total patch. Um, one way to get around this is that the patch command can also be used with points and as well and sometimes it, it comes out a little bit better with that. So what you can do is control A to select all of the curves and then you can come over here to the bar and say edit points on. So this selects your edit points. Now if you click any space that unselects the curves but now we can go up to the select tab and select select points. So all of the points are selected now. So now if we run the patch command, it's going to use the points as the surface. So uh, based on the scale and, uh, and that you can preview these patch commands a, a few times. What I found running this example is 0.5 sample spacing and 50, 50, and then two as a stiffness will create a pretty close and accurate patch. So if I click preview here, it's going to calculate um, that surface patch. And then we can use that to compare with uh, other things and with the existing contour lines and kind of see how accurate we are. So now you can see that it's created this nice patch and we can um, rotate around, kind of see if uh, we are getting close. And I think that that's pretty accurate if we're looking at this kind of edge here. And that, that I'm feeling pretty good about that. So then I just click OK. And now we have this surface from that patch. And we can hit Escape to turn off those edit points. And we can see that it's not totally on, but it's pretty darn close. And it's a nice, a nice uh, patch. And we can go up onto the top if we want to. Here's the outline of that patch. Um, it's a nice square. So we could use it like that, or we could trim it down using a rectangle. I'm just going to leave that as it is. And uh, that works. So here is, uh, that's the way that you can do the contours. And that works pretty well. There's another way to do contours using a plugin called Grasshopper that we might get to later, but I'm not quite sure that will also make a very similar um, type of way. And then one other way that I'll show you is that we can, uh, first of all, create a mesh. So I'm going to delete this. So we can select our contour lines and type mesh patch. Just hit enter and it's going to create some meshes. I don't like using this method because it's uh, it's not predictable that you get a good ma uh, patch because you have all of these kind of weird uh, triangulations and stuff like that. So one thing though you can do is is take that and if you want to create a surface from that go to the top view and then we can type drape and it will ask us to drag a window so this is like dropping a table clock on a surface so now if we go back to perspective you can see that now if I turn off uh, let's select this mesh and we can see uh, I wasn't real accurate with the spacing so we'd have to go back in and change the spacing and, and stuff like that to to make it drape a little bit more accurately but that's another way that you can do it but I would prefer to use the the patch I think that's a uh, a better tool the patch with the points 
So just so you know, and that will end it. Okay.